All right. Welcome to another week of what's for dinner. I'm um, in this Tuesday. We are having taco rice bowls. So in here is my ground beef, taco seasoning, and pinto beans. Then I have my Spanish rice in here. Then we have onions, avocado, bell pepper, tomatoes, and cheese. And I'll show you how we put them all. all right, so I'm going to show you how we assemble this. You get some Spanish rice. And a little bit of the meat and beans. And then you get to pick your own toppings. So this is Adam's. Let me show you what he likes. He likes a little bit of cheese. Scoop up tomato. And a couple scoops of bell pepper. And that is all he likes on his, so there you go. There's dinner, happy Tuesday. All right, so here is my plate. I have a little bit of chips down here, cheese, avocado, onions, tomatoes, the meat mixture. I put chips because I don't put rice. And then a little bit of ranch. Does anybody else put ranch on everything? No, just me? Okay. Tonight for dinner, we are having home fries and hamburgers. So Kennedy peeled, um, I think, 11 potatoes for me. Uh, here I'm just slicing them up into semi-equal parts. All right, so in here I have some olive oil. I'm going to add some black pepper. This is way cheaper making french fries this way and better for you than um, some paprika, than buying pre-made ones. And I just add all my own seasoning, onion powder. And then my favorite 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. I like to give it a little shake, mix it all up. Then add, it looks like a lot, but it's a lot of potatoes that I'm in here. Then we're just gonna get in here with my tools and toss them around. And I like to massage the potatoes in. And the paprika is more for color than for flavor. Yeah. There we go. Alright, and we're going to put them on my cookie sheet. Oven's open. <laughs> so we say oven's open just so that everyone else knows to keep an eye on Harry because the oven's open. I'm just reusing the same bowl that I used for the french fries, adding my meat. I'm using the same seasonings in here. Um, I got this um, Kinder Blend from Costco. It's just... Uh, salt, pepper, and garlic. Then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid smoke and Worcestershire sauce just to give a more of a like oven fry, wood fryer grilled burgers. I'm going to cook these inside. Some oven grilled asparagus with it. A uh, great way that I found so you don't get a tough end on one of the ends is you take one piece of asparagus and you bend it like I just showed you and then you line that up and you cut all the other pieces with that and that almost guarantees you kind of that you won't have a hard piece. And then I'm going to put all of them in a colander and rinse them and then just the same seasonings.
Okay. All right, so here's my plate. I have some potatoes, avocado, onion, my burger. This is the rest of Harrison's burger. I'm gonna put a little bit of pickles and eat it up. All right, happy Wednesday and welcome back to another night of dinner. Tonight we're having um, chili or what my kids call Grandma Hello's chili because this is why my grandma Helen used to make it several times. So it's just a ground, ground beef and onion tomato sauce. I might use both. I might only use one and then two cans of pinto beans. You can do your own. I just have a whole lot of cans. So we're going to do that. All right. Sizes are my tried and true. Always use onion powder, garlic, salt, and black pepper. And then a chili powder. I only have a little bit left. And then I have some of this New Mexico chili. Um, it's just kind of hot. So we're just going to make do with it. black bean pasta you just cook it towards the package and then how to assemble it is we put pasta down then chili then cheese and that's gonna do it for another week of what's for dinner don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any dinner ideas leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time bye bye